Hello, everybody, and welcome back. It is Jeff again, and I am coming to you from the Minecraft server, getting ready to go take the first sweep at this Guardian Temple. If you'll notice what I've made here is I've made invisibility potions, a couple night vision potions, water breathing potions. We're going to bring these all over with me. Get them set up in my new base. Uh-oh, I'm running out of room. Uh, what don't I need as much of? I probably don't need as much night vision potion, so let's... So I'll have some backups over here. I'm gonna go put them in a chest over on the other side of the world. We are going to go get set up. I'm gonna sleep. So we're ready. Now, multiple people have given me different suggestions on how to take this thing on. So we're gonna try to utilize those suggestions and see what we can come up with. One of them is to just wear the boots. <clears throat> The Depth Strider boots and an invisibility potion and that nobody will notice me and I'll be able to like freely roam around the temple area. I don't know how that works. I'm not 100% certain. Oh yeah, look. A big explosion has happened out here. That's okay. We can fix this later. I actually forgot that I had left this as a, as a gaping hole. But either way, we are going to set a bed down while it's night. And we are going to sleep. Right there. Ah. Sleep the night away. As well as this is where I will now respawn. Uh, these are extra chests that I have actually sitting over here. So let's get these potions locked away. Because I want to make one swing at this without really dealing with too much badness let's get everything i possibly can out of my inventory and we will organize from there if i have the water breathing do i even need to bring with me i'm gonna bring my pick my sword and i don't know if that if you guys said that the helmet's gonna make it so that they're gonna be able to see me let's bring an invisibility potion a night vision potion so i can see under there and a water breathing potion maybe i'll bring two of each Water breathing, and what do I have? Invisibility and night vision. And night vision. So I got two of each on my bar. We're going to go over there because the main goal is to take out those guys that give you the mining fatigue. Oh, and I need doors. Just in case I have the inability to breathe. Um, I think I need to make a boat to get over there with a boat. I don't know why this is really choppy right now. Hang tight, folks. Okay, testing, and I still get choppiness. Okay, hold on. Okay, hopefully this seems a little bit better. It definitely does seem a little bit better. Let me... I just realized I forgot to grab food as well, because I will definitely need food when I'm down there. Um, I'm going to drink these potions, so I should be fine. And we're going to make a boat. I actually might need more wood, because I don't have... I don't have any more a bench, a workbench over here that, that functions since I kind of broke it. Well, I didn't break it. It got broken in an explosion of some type. So let's get the boat. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the potions, at least the invisibility one, before I get over there and see what this does. To see if I get mining fatigue and stuff. So there it is. Let's take the invisibility potion. This is it, right? Invisibility, night vision, and then water breathing. Okay, so I have eight minutes on this. I should be invisible. Let's see if these guys give me mining fatigue or not. So, so far they're not. Nobody seems to be after me. There are guardians spawning. If I jump out of the boat. Oh, I seem to be okay. Okay. Oh, I need to take my water breathing potion, night vision. Let's take my water breathing. He still gave me the mining fatigue. Interesting. And I'll take the night vision just so I can look. So I won't be able to get through this because of the mining fatigue. It looks like there is one of the guardians down there. But let's see, with all this, the other guys don't seem to be attacking me too much because I'm invisible, which is good. Let's go into this temple. I have never been into one of these temples before. This is like exciting to me. This is underneath the temple. This is not in the temple. 
So I need to... Come on, run. <laughs> Utilize this uh, Depth Strider to my advantage. Come on. Where's the entrance to this? I want to know how many hits you're going to take as well. Okay, three hits and I can take these guys out. Okay, here seems to be the entrance. I'm good with these guys. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's get into this maze. This convoluted mess that it happens to be. I want to go find those big guys. There's three of them, I've been told, in each temple that I'm going to have to worry about. Nothing down in here. God, this is kind of scary to me. I've never been in one of these before. It's kind of cool to have... Oh, sponges. Lots of sponges. Might be able to help me clear out some of these... Some of these rooms. I'm back to the entrance? How much of this mining fatigue do I have? Another three and a half minutes of mining fatigue. Once I get the mining fatigue gone, maybe I can actually, like... Dig my way through some of these areas, because right now... Oh, 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 good. Big room. Big room. There's one of these guys. He must have thorns or something, because he's hurting me. Okay, one's down. One of the big guys down. I need to eat. So there's two left. The problem is they could easily be in areas... Do I get rid of the mining fatigue when I do that? No, I don't. They could easily be in areas that are inaccessible to me because of the fact that I can't mine anywhere. So I'm going through and looking very diligently here. I really wish I didn't have... Oh, there's one. There's number two. Okay. So far, so good on this. Yeah, these guys must have, like, thorns or something. Okay, two of them down. Where is number three? This is just a... Oh, it's a, it's a room. Hold on, there's something in the center of it. Nothing that I can see. I hope I don't get myself killed down here. What is running out? What is running out? Nothing's running out. The mining fatigue is what's actually running out. I kind of want to get dig my way back to the, the top of this, but I can't right now. So you guys had a great suggestion with the, the invisibility and just wearing the boots because that definitely is helping. I need to make sure I don't get myself trapped down here when my potions run out, though. So hard to look around this temple. Crap! So, my mining fatigue is going to last longer than everything else is going to last now. I need to go find that guy. Find out where that guy's at. I almost should have taken a speed potion. Uh, I got myself lost. I just went down this corridor twice. Okay, let's go back down here, which is where I came from. Take a look at all these areas. There's another down. I hear a spider, which is kind of weird. There must be a room somewhere on this that is not... That is not underwater. Okay, so I went down, and there's nothing over here. I do like the fact that these guys are not after me. What is... Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. On most of this stuff. Normal guys. Normal guys. Nothing over here. I'm directionally... Declined. 
two of them are down, one left. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. <laughs> I got one more set of potions I can take. Gives me eight more minutes of the ability to fight my way out of this out of this place. Which won't really help me if I can't find exactly how I got in here. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. Need to keep making sure I hit run again. Okay, this is that same place that I had come to. Yeah, so I have to go down, down here. It wasn't down, it was up. That I came in from. I think that sound is the big guy. Like you hear the whoosh. Oh, there he is! Nice! Okay, that should be all of the mining fatigue guys. So once my mining fatigue actually runs out, I can easily go back up to the surface by mining my way through damn that was that was way easier than i thought it was ever going to be i just got to watch out because my other stuff's going to run out first but i guess this gives me a chance to explore because once mining fatigue runs out i can just dig my way out of here granted it's still going to take some time to dig my way out of here because of the fact that is this where he was at yeah Anything in the corner? Where'd you come from? Did you come from down? No, you did not. Oh, this is going to be such a great little place to go through. In theory, all I'll need is a bunch of invisibility potions. My night vision is going to run out. My water breathing is going to run out. That's kind of one of the important ones. So let's get my water breathing back on the bar. I could just put a door down here, but it's... My invisibility is gone, actually. Let me just take them all again. Okay. I just took them all. And in another 55 seconds, I will be able to just dig my way out of here, kind of know where I'm at. And work this because there's no reason. Ah, back to that center room. What's in this? Isn't there like gold in here? I'm pretty sure there is gold in here. So we're gonna we're gonna take this out when we get to the uh, the center as well because I believe that that should be straight up from the middle. I would guess. I would like that sponge room again too because sponges can help get rid of a lot of water in a lot of these general areas. I'm curious, too, if you can get these without Silk Touch or if you need Silk Touch. Man, Mining Fatigue 3. What a crappy Mining Fatigue. 2, 1. Boom. Boom. Mining Fatigue gone. Let's see if these actually come into my inventory. Prismarine Crystals. So it does not appear, so I need Silk Touch to get those. Which I was unsure of. Here's the gold. Gold's always good. Can you imagine if I know one of these in like a UHC? And I'm going to be out of the water. Yay! Um, so from here, if I just dug like... Well, that's it. So that's not the center at all. What's straight down the center of this thing? Obviously this would not be the ideal way to eliminate water in here. Um, what I would need to do is give it a little a little roof. I don't think I have enough objects to give it a roof yet. I could make enough. So that water wouldn't actually pour down in there. Um, and put a, I'd just put like a trap door or something there. That, that would work. But I do have like eight more minutes to explore this thing. So I'm going to try to just like come in through... 
I should go get that helmet now. See if they see me with the helmet because it's a, uh, you know, the Aqua Affinity helmet, which I was under the impression the Aqua Affinity helmet was, here's that top again, was something that lets you breathe underwater. Um, I didn't, somebody informed me that no, it is actually something that lets you not have the slow mining underwater, which was not the impression that I had of this thing. I can't believe I just took this thing on and pretty much one fell swoop. Granted, I needed to use, oops, I needed to use two things. I mean, I can always come back down here later with either sponges to clear out a lot of the inside of this thing. Um, I could use, at this point, I could go just put on a bunch of armor and... Let me get back to that sponge room. I had found the sponge room at one point. But I could use um, the doors for my breathing areas and things like that. Okay, let's open this up since it was closed off before. Granted, you could go around it, but I didn't want to have to deal with going around. I should put like markers in all these things so I know which ones I've gone to. I want to know where this spider is at. Is there anything in here? I mean, that's back to my main entrance. I do want to find this spider. Okay, that's back to the top. Where are you, spider? It must be down. I think he's to the right. It's like right here somewhere. Okay, there was obviously a spot where there wasn't water right here. Now there is water. Dude, I have no idea where that spider could be. So close to right here. Oh, <laughs> is there really an underground mine shaft with poison spiders right there? Can you believe that? That's that's funny. So not only did this give me a temple to work with, but there's also more of the underground mine shaft over here as well. So these guys actually fall pretty easily. I would like to go find that, that room again, though. I don't have too much time. But I found that sponge room at one point. I was going to try to dig, like, straight lines across this and, and find it. There it is! I mean... What do you need to actually break a sponge? Anything special? Nope. So if I can get these sponges, I mean, granted, I probably won't be able to get them all because I don't have that much time left. But they will be very, very helpful in drying them out and clearing out at least some internal areas in here. Um, though I opened a lot of it up to water, which is going to make things difficult. 54 seconds. What I should do is. There we go. So now we can get in this side. And granted, it's going to kind of, you know, flood it a little bit more with water. But not too bad. And I'm sure you guys have seen other people take on these temples. Uh, just, it wasn't me. 
I'd never done it before, so I feel vindicated in what I have done in this episode. I'm very excited about it. There's some an air pocket now. <laughs> One soul air pocket. Whoa, I only got like 12 seconds to get out of here. And boom, in my boat. Let's head back to the island. So now that we've taken on the water temple from the purpose of there will be no more mining fatigue because I got the big guys out of there. How should I go about this? BTC did the divisions with the um, sand and took out all the water. Chad, I think, just goes through them with like, you know, depth strider and things like that and just goes in like clears them out which is not a bad idea but then it leaves the water temple still bye bye boat leaves the water temple still like spawning all those enemies block of gold eight of them wet sponges beautiful i think i do still have oh no they got exploded in the explosion do i even have any normal cobble around here i don't have any normal cobble around here still there, now I do. Because I can make a furnace. I can start getting these sponges dried out. There's 14 of them here. We can use them in fun ways. And then we'll just be able to continue on going in there and trying to take out the, the Guardian Temple and get all the nice blocks from it, all that fun stuff. So... Wow. Good episode, guys. Good episode. I'll see you guys next time.